Okay, today we are demonstrating an oscilloscope and I have a dual channel oscilloscope set up on the bench um, producing a, right now a that is a sine wave coming from the precision sine square wave generator over to the right here vintage old generator on the left over here is a uh, another uh, function generator and uh, we're going to show you that in a minute we got first of all there's the, the sine wave I'm going to flip it over to a square wave and watch it as it stabilizes and there you go you've got your peaks and your valley and there you go a little, a little less a little more output increasing the signal amplitude that's channel one I'm going to switch over here to channel two and you, see, you can see it's uh, generating a, a sine wave somewhat of an awkward one um, but it, there it is this is channel two so I'm over here on the voltage divider and I can can double it I can increase it by tenths and uh, let, it, let it lock in there probably not going to lock in on that that range so we'll keep it on that range right there and let that happen and the voltage, the time divider um, has its range of settings and these lines on the screen here represent time and voltage so you can always uh, measure your signal that you're feeding it very accurately okay channel one channel two there's both of them at the same time and uh, you can get them adjusted to exactly to fall on the lines if you need to to read the voltage and read the frequencies and you can also add them together and you get that kind of a pattern I could switch the square wave over to a sine wave and we'll look at that pattern there for a while it's added together and there they are back to uh, separated dual display pretty cool electronics is an amazing field to be in and if you're young and just getting into it you could have a lot of fun and learn a lot from just bench testing and uh, seeing what different signals can do thanks for watching